Welcome to the Sentinel Technical Channel. We're going to go over some of the basic setup of the MEF. Um, first of all, you do want to get a reservoir from your local uh, salvage yard or hydro shop. Um, you put a one inch hole at the top of it or close to the top and you install the very important vacuum brake fitting, uh, which you will want to make sure that there is a hole in the back of that elbow right there. Uh, very crucial. It prevents siphoning from the reservoir into the distribution module. Um, you want to go ahead and tighten that down, make sure it's got a good fit. And uh, then we'll be adding the hoses and the pumps after we get it uh, all set up. Probably be a good time to talk about uh, getting a, you know, if you really want to go all out, you want to get a, a pH test or uh, reverse osmosis is um, highly recommended just in the general hydroponic community um you can do it with you can do without obviously um and then another thing that you'd want is a ppm to check you know the and make sure that you have the correct amount of a uh, nutrients so this is how the uh thing is set up uh you know to get a quick grip on how this thing works you know what i'd recommend is um blocking the uh, holes on the distribution module and then just pump uh, between your reservoir and the distribution module and then you know you can uh, learn the controls of the brain um, and see how that uh, you know the flood switches work and um, you know the drain and the fill um, and you can do it really quickly uh, if you only are you know moving five gallons of water as opposed to you know uh, 30 gallons of water and here you can see that the vacuum uh, brake fitting is working as planned. In other words, it has some dripping coming out of the back of that elbow, which is, uh, you know, fine because it's just a siphon brake. Um, and here you can see the distribution module is getting close to being completely drained out. Uh, the Sentinel MEF does a really good job at removing almost all the fluid in the system. Uh, you know, from your uh, grow buckets, will not have any sitting water in them. Here's a close-up of the uh, connectors on the back with the uh, fill and drain pump and the RCA type connector. And then this is the um, bottom of the um, outer growing module. And, uh, you know, we're going to mate the inner growing module. Uh, with the hydroton into the outer growing module. Um, anyways, really slick, uh, easy to use system. Thank you for visiting us at the Sentinel Technical Channel. Feel free to contact us at growgps.com.